Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks and Adventures. I'm Brian, and today we're going to do a CNC cut. I actually believe the next two woodworking videos will probably be uh, a cut of some kind because I've got a couple of two or three things I've got to get done, and so it'll be something. It's not going to be exactly like this. These others are actually intended for more of a uh, order. So today, what we're going to do is a little piece of decor. It's going to be an engraving style CNC. Uh, it's going to be of an elephant, and it's got some stuff around it, some foliage around it. And this was a couple of things that I pulled out of uh, Google, pulled off Google. And there's a couple of graphics that I put together. Uh, I got more in-depth with it when I initially started designing it. And <laughs> the first design took like three, three and a half hours to cut. So I've nicked this one down, and this one takes about an hour and 15 minutes. As you know, if you follow my channel, you won't be watching it for an hour and 15 minutes. You'll be watching it for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, because I'll speed everything up. So we're going to do an engraving decor sign. So let's go.
Okay, well, that came out good. The CNC side of it did. Uh, all that smudging, I really covered this in sanding sealer this time really thick because I wanted to be sure to get all the detail in the elephant's face. But you saw how it was gunning up. In fact, well, I've dropped some of them. I went through probably eight sanding discs trying to get the sanding sealer off. It just gummed them smooth up. I mean, you can see it just messed them up. I knew this. I wasn't, I wasn't surprised. However, I was surprised how many I was going through because of how thick I put the sanding sealer on. They make a deal that looks like an eraser. It's about that big. And it's what this is for is you run your disc over it when you start to get gummed up. And you run your disc over it just a little bit and it helps clean it off. I mean, it doesn't take it all off, but it helps to make the disc last. I've got one. Somewhere. Somewhere. So, on this design, <clears throat> you saw I tried to make some different colors of green. I did some darker greens. These two light greens, this one down here at the bottom, in my little cup on my airbrush, that was yellow just about. And it still came out looking green. But for all in all, I thought it came out cool. I did the outside border. Initially, I didn't have it on there. I was going to chop down the wood to go along the edge of the uh, leaves. At the last minute, I threw that border in. I thought it really made it come out looking good. So, there you have it. So, like I said at first, my next couple of videos are going to be some C&C. &C. Uh, they're both orders. And that's not to say I'm not going to put a video out during the middle of the week, but odds are if I do something during the middle of the week, it's probably not going to be woodwork. It's going to be some of the other stuff that I've talked about previously. And, I, and I'm just going to do that because I know not everybody's wanting to watch whatever else I'm going to put out. So I'm just going to throw it in there. If you watch it, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. And I'm good with it. So guys, that's going to be about it. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe and I'll see you all next time.